and welcome to WRPV and WRPV Studios. You know, we live in a world, okay, where video is all over the place and photography is all over the place, and <clears throat> everybody buys a cell phone and thinks they're a videographer or a photographer. It's not the case, okay? Look at the lens on a camera and then look at the lens on your phone. If you don't get it then, you'll never get it. With me, I'm about to have this pretty lady next to me, Kelly O'Keefe, and it's Kelly O'Keefe Photography? Yes, sir. And it's Kelly O'Keefe. Dot, dot photography. photography. Okay. Interesting because you tried to get dot com and you couldn't get it. I couldn't get it. It was taken. So I'm um, dot photography, not dot com. Okay. What got you into this? Well, I started off when I was in grade school and I absolutely loved it. I had a wonderful teacher um, that kind of progressed me towards. And I also had my aunt who always had a camera with her. So those little things kind of pushed me. But I'm building my own business now. Okay. How long are you doing? How long you you really been you shooting? Shot my first wedding in 2016, so <coughs> I kind of count that as my start, so about right. five years. Have you seen changes in the industry since you started? Yeah, I think there's been some small changes, especially for me on my front, because I started off doing more nature photography. I grew up in Nevada, so doing that was a bit of a change versus shooting people. It's a very different industry. Okay. When you say shooting people, it's not like you really think. No, it's with a that camera. Way. Okay. <laughs> like Photographing people, I should that's say. That's right. <laughs> you know, she's really, I, I was talking to you for quite some time, and she really is an anomaly, and you've done so much. I do different things. Right, and it goes past photography because your dream thing is skydiving. Yes, sir. I do professionally skydive. <laughs> But that's good because photography falls in the wheelhouse of skydiving. It does, and that's exactly what happened. Is when I started skydiving, I realized I can become a photographer within the sport, and so it basically merged my two passions right together. And I was like, "Wow, I can do this." That I'm still so still chasing it, but <laughs> okay. But you're a professional skydiver. You teach it. Mm -hmm. You can take people. Yep. How yep. often do you go? Uh, nearly daily. I have Tuesdays and Wednesdays off, so that's why I'm here today. Okay. Um, I took you away from skydiving. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, don't be. <laughs> and you I don't do have daily. to go off because you said you have another shoot after this. <laughs> I do. I have a photography client after this, so I'm cool. kind of all over the place. Okay, so <coughs> technology changes. Yes, it does. Okay. What do you see in the future with technology when it comes to photography? Well, I see people thinking they can do it themselves because they do have this iPhone on their pouch. But okay. I think hiring someone that's professionally inclined to the imagery and has taken classes and put money and time into the better technology will outcome better photography. Well, I mean, uh, my, phlo my philosophy has always been the same. Take your phone and look at your lens and then look at a professional camera's lens. Yeah. There's a big difference. Big difference. Okay. And you, it's not, like, they have one lens. Yeah. Okay. You have... Five. A multitude of <laughs> yeah. lenses. Okay. And each lens serves a different purpose. Mm -hmm. You can't have that with a cell phone. And I'm not saying don't take pictures with your cell phone. I'm yeah. not saying don't do video with your cell phone. But if you want it done right, use a professional. For me, in the video industry, they post these videos with their cell phone, and it's got a black bar here and a black bar here, yeah. because the uh, ratios are wrong. Mm-hmm. They don't get it. it okay, right. it looks very unprofessional. Plus, the other thing is, for us, it's sound. Okay, you get crappy sound. And I don't care what kind of mics you get with your cell phones or whatever, it's not the same. Plus, you have an eye that's different than others. And I, I do video, and yet I can't do photography <laughs> because that's not my thing. I'm sure you could if you tried. No. <laughs> yeah, I can take a picture, but it's not my thing, okay? And me being willing to admit that means that I can say that not, it's not for everybody. Yeah. And if you want something done right, you want to look at a professional, use a professional. Okay, what's your favorite thing to shoot? Ooh, that's tough. Um, while I do kind of focus on weddings, I think doing couple shoots would be my favorite because it's less hassle, you're picking a direct spot, you don't have to worry about the whole problems of the day. It's just the two of you, and you're having a good time. And my kind of philosophy is consider me your third wheel, and we'll have a great time. You know, it's interesting because you said that you did nature photography. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's kind of cool because I think that nature is really pretty amazing. 
because when I first moved to Florida, I drove days and days and days looking for an alligator. Couldn't find one. Oh, okay. man. I found one on the second day. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think most people who come to Florida, it's like, hi, I'm in Florida. Where are, Where are the alligators? Yeah. Right. Where are they? So, did you have a camera when you found one? Uh, no, I had my iPhone. Okay. And I said, crikey, mate, there's an alligator. And did you take pictures? <laughs> yes, I of couldn't course. help myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, what's your least favorite thing to t take pictures of? Babies. <laughs> well, well, okay. Oh, I love your babies, but they're difficult and... To control? Yeah, you know, it's children under three years of age. They don't have the attention span. It's hard, but I interact with them. I give them, hey, how are you doing? Look at me, peekaboo, <laughs> like all the things, but you can only get two or three shots, really, out of a whole hour photo wow. shoot, so it's difficult. It would be safe for me, because I have no attention span either. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, look, something shiny. Oh, look, a squirrel. i got to <laughs> stop what I'm doing. There's a squirrel. <laughs> I'm blessed to have done a lot of video all over the place, mm -hmm. and um, a lot of celebrities and stuff. Have you done any celebrity photography? Uh, no, I have not done any celebrity photography. The closest I've gotten to that is some model photography. Okay, did you not do it because the opportunity was not there? I haven't had the opportunity yet. Okay. I would obviously be very inclined to, but I do have my special kind of niche and is more candid and nature and stuff like that. So studio shooting isn't really my exact thing that I like to do, but if that's what they needed, I would definitely photograph well, them. Well, I think that, and to give you an example, because um, for me... We go courtside at yeah. tennis tournaments with celebrities. Oh, I would love that. Okay. We then pull them aside as they walk through the red carpet and do the pictures there. We did uh, in, live in Miami. Um, uh, we did Art Basel. We, we did a lot of stuff like that. I think it's kind of cool. They do give limitations, meaning if it's a stage show, you get the first two or three songs. You can sit in the pit, stand in the pit, mm -hmm. and take pictures, and then you got to go. Then you have people like Flo Rida. Yeah. So he was on stage with Champagne and squirted all the photographers and camera people. That's my favorite. You don't want to get, you don't want to ruin your camera. So you have it easy because you have a little camera. <laughs> we have this big, back then it was big. The, yeah. The video. So we hated photographers because they, you guys could move like really quick and we're like, I got to move this and <laughs> carry this. And move. Like all camera <laughs> on my shoulder. Right. Yeah. right. So it was really like a pain. But you really have to have that creative eye yeah. to do photography. And a good example is I had headshots done for me, mm -hmm. okay? And I'm like, he said, all right, now I want you to lean forward and hold on to the chair and tip your head. And I'm like, yeah, why do I have to do all this? But it makes the picture that yeah. much better. And I don't have that eye where you guys do. So that's like really, really kind of cool. If you had your choice to do a wedding or nature, I was going to say skydiving, but I know that answer. <laughs> <laughs> if you had the choice to do like weddings or nature, wh where would you really want to focus? Um, well, I think that I do have really good nature photography eye, and Florida's filled with nature, we all know that, but for me at this point in time, I would say weddings and that kind of clientele because I think you have to make a name for yourself and then you can sell your nature photography. Right. And right now we're on that side of things. Right, you're trying to make a name. And a living, you and, know, and, and a name. Right, and, and feed yourself. Yeah, I, okay. I like to eat a yeah. lot, so <laughs> I need a lot. <laughs> you know, so I, I mean, I kind of get that. Um, it's funny because when you go into, when you're an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. okay, um, ethics being a little crazy. Yeah. Trust me when I say it, because I'm an entrepreneur with brick and mortar. Hey. So I have FP&L to deal with, and you know, different kind of insurances, uh, electric, internet. I have a lot to, to deal with. But when you become an entrepreneur, in the beginning, you end up doing stuff that you really might not want to do, mm -hmm. and you do it. And then when you get older, like me, and you're in a set spot, it's like so cool because I own the company to be able to say, yeah, no, it's not for me. Yeah. Okay. Because I think after you're doing it a long time, doing something that you don't really enjoy will never be as good as you would want it to be. And that's something that someone like you who has this eye for what you do would be very disheartened to see a wedding that you shot because that you didn't want to shoot yeah. and it'd be terrible in your eyes. People who come on here and they take their video and they, they 
have, they have an opportunity to purchase a copy. Mm -hmm. And if it's really no good, I don't want them to buy it. Because it really reflects how I see it, you know. And people are very critical about themselves. Yeah. Very critical yeah. about themselves. All right, so you do a wedding. How many shots do you take? Shots I take versus right. give out. Mm -hmm. How many shots do you take? <laughs> Depends on the wedding and the structure of it, but anywhere from 1,000 to 2, or to 2, sorry, excuse me, to 7,000. The last really? wedding I just did, it took 7,000 shots, and let me tell you, about 500 of them were acceptable. <laughs> but that's okay. It's because okay. Because you're not... I'm not working with film anymore, so... Right. <laughs> it's <And> okay. <laughs> from what I got from you, it's really about that shot boom it's really not really about you want to get a lot of shots that are not set up yeah okay yeah it's candid i don't right. want to make you feel too posed i want you to feel natural in front of the camera and i think as much as they're in front of us all the time we're not used to that naturalness like some people will come to me they're like oh i feel so awkward i don't know how to be in front of a camera i'm like don't think that the camera's there just be yourself you know i think that. I think it's really cool that you do it, and I think it's cool that anybody does that because it's that one day that someone's going to get married, and you don't want to ruin it. And today's different because today it could be fourth marriage. You just make it up on the next marriage. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, just we'll get it on yeah the I'll next get it on the next marriage. When no, you get no, no, married no. again, get married once. Guys. I'll give you a married discount once. on the next wedding, <laughs> and I'll make it, it'll be better because I know what <laughs> you want. Two for one price today only. <laughs> <laughs> but you really need to know what someone who wants. So do you sit down with them prior to the wedding? Yes, I do either, depending on where they are and stuff, because I don't only shoot weddings in Florida. I go as far as Nevada, California, all that wow. jazz. I'll travel to you, it's included in your price, and if I don't have to travel, it's not included in the price. But if it is, you know, I'm shooting and... You'll go where you gotta go. I'll go, yeah. Good for you. <laughs> it's nice. You know, it's a little stressful, but it's nice. Right. You get to now, see other places. Do you shoot alone, or do you always have an assistant? I do sometimes have an assistant. It just depends on what they want to pay for and what their needs acquire. If they want just me, I'll be just me. But if you want more, I got more for you. See, I, I bring someone's because I don't want to carry anything. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you I'm should like feel that. my backpack. I, really, I can imagine. I dropped it. Like, not drop, dropped it, but it, like, rolled, and this lady picked it up, and she was like, oh, <laughs> why did I try to help you? Well, you know, I, I see them when I, when I go and do an event. I see the photographers, and one lens weighs a ton. Yeah. Some of those big lenses. My camera alone is six pounds. Is it really? Yeah. Wow. What kind of camera do you shoot with? It's a 70. Which is? Canon. Sorry. Okay. Canon 70. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm not that smart. Get, get over yourself. But remember, it's video. Video for you. <laughs> okay. We're at the top of the time. How do people find you? Do you have a website? Yes, I do have a website. It's Kelly dot o or no, we messed it up. Kelly O'Keefe dot photography. Okay, and a phone number. And my phone number is seven seven five eight one five two nine six six. Okay, so I give you a lot of credit for wanting to be an entrepreneur. Thank you. The philosophy about being an entrepreneur is mm, success is the best revenge. When I started, everybody said, "Get a real job. Don't be stupid, and it's a pipe dream." Yep. I've heard those, all of them. <laughs> okay, so now it's 26 years later, and I have a successful business. Um, some tough times yeah. and some great times. Expect all of those and more. And uh, you'll always look at some of the tough times and say, oh, my God, that was really tough, but I made it through. Just never give up. No, never, never ever give, give up. up. Never give up on your dreams. With that, everybody, check out Kelly O'Keefe dot photography. And I want to thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me. Everybody will be right back.